Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden, and I wanted to show you an update today with my burpees bean plant. Today's uh, day 20 of its growth, and look at how nice and large this plant has grown. Just in a matter of 10 days, if I posted a video on day 10, I'll put a link in the description bar below so you could click on that if you haven't seen it, and really see how much of a difference this plant has grown. On day 10, this thing was only putting on a couple of leaves, and it was pretty small. And now it's nice and huge. I mean, look at the size of this thing. For example, I'll just put my hand right there for comparison. So this thing must be at least like maybe 15 inches, 16 inches wide. And I would say about maybe about like eight inches tall. So it still has maybe double its way to go up weight, upwards. And it should be, a pro I think, about this, this wide. This should be a pretty small bean plant. This is uh, basically like a bush bean plant that only stays nice and compact. It only grows about 14 to maybe like 18, maybe 20 inches, both wide and tall. So it stays nice and small and it doesn't grow uh, tendrils like normal bean plants do. So it stays nice and compact. I think right there actually might be something forming. Hard to tell if it's uh, another leaf or possibly something better, which is what I'm hoping for. And this plant puts on these nice yellow golden wax beans, so it's really easy to find them in between all of this green bush. So it's nice and easy to find and harvest, and you know when it's ready because it has this nice beautiful yellow color. And for now, this thing is go growing nicely. It actually grows pretty quickly in about maybe 55 to 60 days. The packaging actually shows that it, it should be ready for harvest in only 50, so we'll see. Packages always tend to kind of put favor the smaller number of the average, so we'll see. When I was doing research online, even off their website, they even themselves post that it takes somewhere between 55 to 60 days. So plus minus five, ten days, I think it's not too bad. And I'm just pushing the larger leaves down below to expose the younger leaves and to keep the canopy growing as you see right here. This is basically two plants, two seeds that I planted together here. And it's growing nicely, so I figured instead of growing one, let me try to grow two, being that it's a nice compact bush plant. And I'm actually growing this in my indoor grow tent which is right over here pretty much so it's just off to the side and originally it was uh, even still on day 10 I had it under here under these T5 lights the reason why I pulled it out is because I could show you a nice little easy recording of this video and you could really see what the plant looks like and after day 10 on day 11 I actually put it under my grow lights in my grow tent which is actually an LED light so it has a nice full spectrum which I think really attributed to the insane amount of growth in just 10 days. I mean, you gotta see what day 10 of this plant looked like. I'm really, really happy with how fast this thing is growing and the amount of... just how healthy and this, this thing looks. It looks so nice. I noticed on the leaves, actually, at the very base right here, it has these two tiny little... I'm not even sure what you'd call it, honestly. I gotta look that up. <laughs> but for now, it's looking nice and healthy. I mean, look at how green the leaf looks. The undersides are looking really nice. No signs of aphids or mites or any type of infestation. So I'm keeping a really, I'm trying to keep my grow tent really clean. Let's see what the nutrient level looks like. So as we see, it's right around here. Oh, what is that? Roughly 500 milliliters? Actually, 750 milliliters, I'm sorry. And originally, 10 days ago, it was at the 1500 mark. So it dropped quite a bit in just 10 days. And I could see the roots poking out right there. Let's actually take a look at what the roots look like. And the reason why I covered this up is because I want to prevent as much of the light going into this jar as possible when it's growing. And that will really help with the algae growth and keep that problem at bay. 
So let's take a look. I try not to look at the roots. Only when I record these videos do I expose the roots this way to not harm the plant too much. And look at how beautiful, beautiful this root system looks. You could really tell that it's nice and healthy based on the color, how compact and thick this plant looks. Look, I mean, look at this root system. I'm so happy with this growth and look at how tight. That's basically looks like a plant of its own right there. And there's a lot of pictures people do with their roots after they, they harvest and they use it as a little beard. So that's just a fun little thing you could do if you want. But for now, this thing is growing nicely. I'm going to keep the progress going. And I'll keep the videos basically every 10 days. So we'll see how fast this plant grows. We'll see if it hits the 50 day mark or the 60 day. So we'll keep that progress going. And this is basically day 20 of growing these beans indoors. And if you like the episode, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget, if you would have any questions or comments, Please leave them down below. I, I love answering and talking to everyone here. And we're all part of this one little beautiful gardening community. Thanks for watching.